Welcome everybody to Buddha Fitness. This is the home of the world's best boot camp and the home of the turnkey boot camp business where we provide personal trainers and qualified trainers with the ultimate boot camp business in a box. Okay, straight out of the box we'll give you all of the systems that you need to grow an awesome boot camp business okay, so that's us and that's what we do um, today what I'm going to be covering off is the fundamentals of how you choose a boot camp location and this is going to be based on the eight years of experience that I have in running boot camps both indoors and outdoors over a quite a long period of time so let's talk about the considerations okay basic considerations that we would have is first off are you going to run indoors outdoors or some sort of hybrid model a hybrid model meaning you're going to run indoors and outdoors now I prefer to have a hybrid model purely because the nature of people is that they tend to be quite fickle with weather okay, weather can determine whether people want to train so therefore I want to have an indoor facility for inclement weather okay that also allows me when I have indoor locations it allows me some sort of storage which gives me the ability to have equipment permanently stored in place to run a location so that's what you want to be looking for when you find a boot camp location um, then of course you want to think about your budget okay the budget of how much does this location cost to rent what is the arrangement that I can make for this location can I do a deal a key thing that I learned about boot camp locations is that everything is negotiable never forget that everything is negotiable when it comes to setting up your boot camp location we tend to negotiate with schools churches community halls different sorts of facilities of this nature so that um, we can find awesome places for you to train Shall we give the music a rest? Okay, it's been three minutes. Maybe you enjoyed it, maybe you didn't. Write in the comments whether you like the music or not. Should I do it as an intro or not? Okay, we're still talking about boot camp locations. Um, moving on to the next points. Indoors or outdoors. Now, we've decided what we're going to do. Let's say that we decided we're going to go outdoor, which is quite common. Outdoor we're looking at safety okay is this a safe location so therefore I would look at the terrain okay is the terrain safe is the surface that I'm looking at safe so if if it's grass is it full of potholes does it have a lot of prickles so if I put my hands down on it is there prickles is it a nice surface to work out on does it collect water so does does it pool does it collect water when it rains or does it drain well okay so we're looking at all of these things about the land we want some nice green grass that drains well and doesn't get too boggy and muddy okay if we're going outdoors what i'm also looking for is some features some terrain some things i can run up then I'm looking for in particular benches. I want benches to do my dips, my step ups, my box jumps, uh, my decline push ups, my incline push ups, step ups. A, f a whole range of exercises can be done off a bench. Okay, we could write whole programs off benches, and we do. Okay, mountain climbers, incline mountain climbers, all sorts of stuff that we can do around. Um, Benches. So I'm looking for those sorts of things if I'm looking outdoors. 
then what I'm looking for is some sort of loop track so some sort of area where I can run and I can keep an eye on everybody some different loop tra loop tracks and different options there so this is the considerations for outdoors okay and other things I'm just talking about all of the considerations I look at are lighting so then I look to lighting Ten, it depends where you are in the world but depending on whether we have daylight savings here in New Zealand will depend on whether or not um, I have good lighting or not so in the when it goes into winter it's really dark um, so it's really dark in the morning so I need to have good lighting in the morning because I need people to have good footing that will then determine my programming so then I, you know we're getting into different areas now so I would do my programming so I have everybody stationary until we have good light so I'm doing things like squats and push-ups and my my strength exercises while I have slightly bad light so light is a consideration for my location I like to have nice street lights or some you know football lights or some sort of really big artificial lights to give me lighting in an area which I know is consistent um, so have a think about that then obviously another consideration for the location is parking very important so people want convenience of parking and it's a good idea let's let's drill a little deeper into this thing about location it's a good idea to pick iconic locations with a lot of thoroughfare okay a lot of thoroughfare of people 